Hello, today is the big day. We have MGR4 ready, but I have today two announcements. So let's start by the first one that is the MGR4 stuff. So first of all, I want to thanks to everybody, all the contributors that helped to make this uh, release possible. And especially I want to shout out to all the MGR development team and a new member of the team, Yasha. So it's now on the... The website is officially here. Yasha, I know we have been talking how long it took me to, to update this, but I wanted to keep it for this MGR4 release. So he has been helping MGR for a while now. The previous release with all the MGR uh, constraint, uh, new uh, node and the drag and drop installation, it's thanks to Yasha. And of course, to all the rest of the team that have been collaborating on this release. So that's the first thing, and I think the most important, it's always give credit to the people who makes this possible. Okay, so what's new on MGR4? Well, the first thing, uh, let me let me go here to my uh, release log so I can read it and cheat a little bit. So the first thing, it's obviously it's uh, Python 3 ready. It's about time. I mean, it was the beta for a long time that it was working already, but this is the official release. So Python 3, Maya 2022 support, that's a big thing. We go back to mono repository. That's another uh, big thing. So we don't have these many repositories scattered. There was uh, some, uh, I mean, it was an idea that we had back a few years, uh, I'm sorry, a few years back. And the uh, we thought that will be easier to integrate from certain pipelines so you can pick and choose which model you want to use. But at the end, uh, didn't uh, work that way. Everybody was using the, the final release with all everything inside and the maintenance was uh, more complicated. So now we are back to the modern repository. So basically means that you can download anytime the MGR uh, master branch or any other future branches. And with that, you can uh, plug it to your uh, Maya and will work. So that's one of the biggest uh, things that we have. And you can check it out on the notes. I will do separated videos for more specific uh, new features and improvements that we have. Obviously, one of the biggest ones, it's uh, la the, uh, we keep pushing on uh, the game engines, um, like compatibility, especially with, um, with, uh, with Unreal Engine. So that's one of the biggest things. And uh, then we have a lot of big, uh, like big and small improvements and bug fixes. Oh yeah, I will do uh, more videos about this in, uh, in a little. Okay, so that's it's um the first announcement. So what is the second announcement? Okay, the second announcement it's uh what uh well it's MCS gear basically and what's that is basically me that I go independent and I'm gonna be focused fully on M gear development and offering services for all the M gear users. I have put up a website a few Month ago, but I didn't do any big announcement or anything. I was working behind the curtains to have everything ready, and now it's uh, yeah, it's time to to go out and tell the world that M Gear it's uh, have now uh, kind of uh, support from the developer that before was uh, not granted. So now you can get this this support. So what means that for the M Gear project? Well, basically M Gear as um, tool doesn't change, doesn't change the licensing, it's going to be free, it's going to continue the same way that we have been doing for many years now. The only difference is now I will be offering these premium services on my side and I will have more time to um, develop. So in short, nothing changed, everything changed. I will be doing more releases more often, so that's I think one big gain of this um, uh, new change, and the um, the future it's hopefully more bright and uh, more uh, like stable, like with more releases. The um, I just want to to mention that um, the next steps on in gear will be, of course, keep adding tools, keep adding more animation tools, keep improving the rigging system and so on, but also we start to move towards other DCC, especially to game engines like Unreal and Unity. So you will see um, the, one of the new features is this data collector. That's the first step. Obviously we had also the this uh, 
new uh, epic components and mannequin templates and i will see we have also now a new uh, game default biped that it's more general um like the conception is a bit more general than the the mannequin or the uh, uh meta human uh template that was more specific for um for the unreal engine so if you're using another engine you will have also this compatibility okay so i don't want to keep this video too long just uh again thank you everybody for uh the support for the project and see you in, in the next videos thank you